Okay, let me tell you about the greatest article about my super I've ever read. Office Minefield by Joel <laughs> Garo. It is literally the greatest article I've ever read. I'm gonna cover it really quick, but it's amazing. <laughs> Did tell he was on the phone with the customer at the moment. He cracked the Minesweeper computer game in a world class 8 seconds. World class, by the way. Holy... Okay. Shouted the president of Washington's Carpet and Government Consulting Inc. <laughs> Luckily, the customer was still a Minesweeper addict. <laughs> he understood. <laughs> so do millions of others as the industry and government dropped clunky old mainframes for network personal computers. America is discovering the truly diabolical <laughs> nature of Bill Gates' Microsoft Empire. <laughs> Preloaded inside Microsoft's Windows software that controls 80% of the world's new PCs are two insidious games, Solitaire and Minesweeper. The superior one, of course, being the Minesweeper. Does this mean that productivity software spreading through nations' offices is sowing indolence, distraction, and the collapse of American capitalism? <laughs> <laughs> yup, sure, says Frank Burns, a principal in the area's largest regional computer bulletin board. The new Metanet. You used to see office laid out with back of video monitor toward the wall. Now it's the other way around, so the boss can see you playing solitaire. Solitaire? Many have mind super on your PC while you're playing solitaire. It's swallowed entire company, says Dennis J. Gomer. Piles, president of able body computers in the Plains, VA. The water treatment plant in Wharton. I install installed their system and the next time I saw the client, the first thing he said, I've got 2000 points in solitaire. Man, I wouldn't do deal with him. He plays solitaire instead of my super. How could he? As a result, airplanes full of businessmen resemble not board meetings but video arcades. Large gray men in large gray suits, logging laptops loaded with spreadsheets, are consumed by beating their solitaire scores flight attendants observe. I am disgusted by those large gray men. Microsoft founder Bill Gates became so addicted to Minesweeper that he took his personal office machine, reports Libby Dozen, lead product manager for entertainment at the company. Instead, he went to the machine of Mike Holman, then president of Microsoft, when he felt compelled to play. That's where he set his personal record of five seconds. Ordinary mortals have been known to take five minutes to solve this puzzle. To beat Gates' time, Tom Reeves, a development manager for Microsoft, wrote a small computer program, a macro, that attacked the puzzle automatically. When Gates found out how Reeves had cheated to achieve a three-second score, he fired off on a message. My critical skills are being displaced by a computer. This technology thing is going too far. How can one retain human dignity when Computers do the important stuff better than people. <laughs> Minesweeper is a logic puzzle made of square tiles. Minesweeper is harder in Solitaire, which is the old rainy day card game. Let's go! The Minesweeper is confirmed. This one sentence, it confirms. Let's continue. Figuring out how to get started on Minesweeper is not intuitively obvious. Hint from the hint from aficionados. Click on the five or six tiles randomly right at the beginning. If you hit a bomb, start over. If your computer suddenly awards you bloom of tiles created automatically, the odds are with you. Minesweeper is more addictive than solitaire. Players are pitted against themselves trying to beat their own times. Dream about it. One woman claims that because of Minesweeper, and she has trouble going to the bathroom. Every time she looks at the wall tiles, her eyes automatically groove them into patterns of nine. The key to winning the game. Did Microsoft know the number of worker hours a micro industry would lose to its nefarious device? <laughs> well, doesn't said, N not for nothing you can disguise your game fetish by turning the window sound off. <laughs> In fact, boss keys are becoming ubiquitous in the computer games. They are keystrokes that instantly cause the machine to switch off 
out of fun games and display into the appearance of work, then the boss passes the game right <laughs> Where you're right where you left it in. In Solitaire Minesweeper, you hold down the Alt key and hit Tab. In a game called Tetris, originally decided by Soviet software writers, pressing Escape instantly displays a bogus spreadsheet re resembling Lotus 1, 2, 3. Now Microsoft is aiming a new package of games at loosely supervised executives in their mid-30s with college education who spend minimum of 4 hours playing games in world near more than 1 million copies have been sold. Well, that's a lot. Microsoft originally put Solitaire into Windows to soothe people intimidated by the operating system. According to Dozen, it gave them something familiar and fun to do with their computer while it also taught them how to use a mouse. Not surprisingly, for years, Solitaire was the most used application for Windows. Microsoft officials say, why not MySweeper? MySweeper got in because at the time Windows 3.1 was released in 1992. It was a favorite game of everybody involved creating the software, including Overlord Gates. Freaking Overlord gates. This has been going for long enough that there's a trade in nostalgia items. One manufacturer soon will ship machines with Microsoft Arcade software that reproduces visual flaws and all. Five of those old Atari computers, arcade games like like Asteroids and Missile Command, to which adolescents once devoted all their quarters. From there, it's a short jump to dialing up compute servers, finding the game's forums, and transplanting the custom design boss kits into your favorite game. One poster said, okay, there's nothing about my super. Some companies such as Burnings routinely remove Solitaire Mics My Super from the Windows package when it arrives, or in some cases demand Microsoft not even ship the product with games inside. Even PC magazine banned game playing during office hours. This is why you're Oh, that's a hit. that's a low blow. That's a low blow. Our editor went into lesson. The Windows games not only have a religious following, they, are, they have mysteries to be learned, but they initiate. People seriously out to improve their solitaire time, for example, know how to double click on a card, ready for the final stack of single unit, the card will automatically fly later, eliminating the need to drag it with the mouse. Damn, they're already finding the speedrunning tricks of the early 90s, god damn. Windows training is a booming business as a major government agencies, including the Treasury Department and the CIA and the Defense Department upgrade their systems. Computer consultants sometimes debate whether solitaire function should be re revealed to their trainees. If they want your people to be the best, you show the Minesweeper. It's that simple. I don't think it corrupts anyone who's already on the delinquent side, said Marty Engel, president of Boston Center for Computer Training. You have to ask, what what the guy would be doing talking on the phone? We're picking him up a while. He would have wasted time in some other way. Exactly. He would have wasted time. Exactly. Just let us waste time in our own way. The Mine Warfare Division of the US Navy has MyServer on its Windows setup and the Pentagon thinks it's a NEAT GAME! <laughs> According to the spokesman, Lieutenant Conrad Chun, but it sneers at it professionally. It's nowhere near the complexity of true Mine Warfare is. Man, have you ever tried beating Expert under 50 seconds? Chun reports, it's a two-dimensional game. There are so many aspects to a real Mine Warfare that it take programmed the size of all windows to even scratch the surface. Yeah, you you, you go there, Chun. The all-time records for my super are 80 seconds for the expert level, 20 seconds at the intermediate, and 1 second for beginner. According to Microsoft, if the mines are aligned in exactly the right way, a single mouse click will win the game. That's true. You can cheat at these games, but why? Wes Cherry, who wrote Solitary, was not going to put up with ter tyrannical computer programs. So if you start card games such that three cards are being dealt at the time, hold down cold, Control, Alt, and Shift keys simultaneously, then click on the deck. Solitary will do a single card, then arrange card beneath, and do everything power to give you ones you need. We could, of course, tell you how Robert Donner, who reminds you, wrecked his program to allow you to win every time. Boy, that's no guess mode, but it could be wrong. <laughs> Staff writer Richard Leiby contributes to the report. We love you, Richard.